Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. One of the most popular functions in all of Excel is VLOOKUP. It's the formula that I'm most asked about by my students and also by visitors to this web channel. VLOOKUP is very handy as we know, however it has a limitation and that is it can only search from left to right. As opposed to its counterpart, index and match, which has a major advantage and it can, in that it can search from right to left, as well as from left to right. The two functions are used together, as we shall see, in the majority of cases. Notice in the example in the exercise, we're simply looking for two results, the person and his position down here. Let's examine the construction of index and match. Index is used to highlight the cells which contain the answer that you're looking for. It's just like the index in a book. It is where you'd look to find the page you want to go to to see the information that you're looking for. Match then finds the number of the row which has the actual answer. So let's look at the formula that I used here in this cell to find the word Jones who we see is the name in the company DEF. DEF is in J15. And incidentally, I have used a drop-down list for that particular uh, group of cells so that we can uh, be a little more user-friendly. So again, let's look at the formula for Jones. Equals index. Look in I6 to I9, which is the group of cells containing the names. Then match those names with what's in J15, that is the company, containing the company names here, followed by a zero, which I'll explain shortly. Similarly, the title equals the index, in this case, J6 to J9, because that group of cells contains the answer to the titles. Then match that with what's in J15, again in K6 to K9, followed by the zero, and the brackets are closed, so that when I press enter after typing the formula, I see my results here. Let's look quickly at how match works in the formula. You'll notice down here that the number two appears, because that is the row number that the company needs to look to the left to find the answers that it is looking for. If I change the company name, we'll say to JUT, then that will change to a four because JUT is in the fourth row and it looks across to the left and says, ah, green and sales manager match the criteria in the formula. So you can see that index match is very, very handy in that it searches in the opposite direction or is able to search in the opposite direction when compared to VLOOKUP, which is limited by the direction of its search. The zeros in the formulas simply obey a rule of match types. I use a zero because I could find an exact match. The other types are shown here should you need to use them. But if uh, all of your uh, data is unique, then you can simply use a zero. When a match type is omitted, it defaults to one, which is approximate, which will still give you the, the answers in most of the cases that you're using it in. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. And we'd love to have a like or a comment. Uh, and again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.